this look works best with perfectly defined brows. You can create smoky eyes with any colour, you just need three shades, light, medium and dark, and then a highlighter. For this look I'm using Illamasqua Powder Eyeshadow in Dizzy, Slap and Savage, and to highlight a powder eyeshadow in Sex. Use our blusher brush number one and sweep the entire socket with the lightest of your three shades, creating a base for you to sculpt and define. Then load our blending brush number one with the same lighter shade and sweep under the eye, blending the colour as you go. Next, with the same brush, take your medium shade and define the line of your eye socket with gentle, circular strokes, blending in the two colours. This is where the majority of the colour density should be. Gently blending out and lightening towards the outer corners of the eye. Also apply a little of the medium colour under the eye, but this time slightly closer to the lashes. Using the darkest shade, then go over the socket, deepening the colour, concentrating on the outer corners, socket and under eye, this time even closer to the lashes. This creates a layered effect of colour. Now for the eyeliner. Again, use your darkest shade, or for even more intensity, a darker shade still, and add a little Illamasqua sealing gel to the corner of your colour to create a cool intense eyeliner. Using an eyeliner brush, apply liner from the inner corner of your eye outwards, softly defining along the top and bottom lash line. To finish, I've highlighted along the brow bone and under the eyes with Illa Masca Pure Pigment in Furore and Powder Eyeshadow in Sex. Another dot of pigment in the middle of the lid will catch the light and stop your smoky eyes looking too heavy. For a more extreme nighttime look, you can add false lashes or apply Illa Masca Volume Mascara as I have here. Cheeks are one of your final touches, so first create your base and whichever look you've chosen for your eyes. Begin by sweeping a highlighter powder, like Intrigue Powder Blusher, along the top of the cheekbone with a highlighter brush. Then to highlight the cheek area, pat in a small amount of illuminator on the top of the cheekbone. I'm using Odyssey. Then with an Illamasqua blusher brush number two, use a powder blusher that complements the colour you've used on your eyes and sculpt the apple of your cheeks and your temples using small circular motions. Then use a darker shade of blusher to redefine the apple of your cheek, applying around and under the cheekbone up towards the ear. Finish there, or for an even more sculpted look, you can apply a darker shade still under the cheekbone and closer to the ear. Now you don't have to do this, but I always apply a tiny bit of Illamasqua Illuminator in Odyssey to the cupid's bow, the dip just above the top lip, and down each side. This gives a crisp, light-catching line that really defines a darker lip look. Next, 
Take an Illamasqua lip brush loaded with your chosen dark shade, I'm using Illamasqua's Growl, and use the brush's contoured shape to help you define the cupid's bow. Then, starting from the outer corners of your lips, create a slightly more rosebud shape by coming in a little from your natural corner before starting to apply the colour. You can also create a fuller effect for your bottom lip by loading the colour in the centre and staying slightly inside the natural lip line, mimicking the effect you've created on the top. Block with a tissue and then use a medium pencil in a slightly darker shade to sharpen and define. I'm using an Illamasqua medium pencil in Severe. Then using a lip brush, blend the lipstick into the pencil. Apply Illamasqua Intense Lip Gloss in Fury over your colour. Finish off with a dot of Illuminator in Odyssey in the middle of your lips, adding that all-important touch of depth and drama to your final look. Gatsby Nell leaves the half moon at the cuticle end of the nail bare for a very 1920s look. Start at the centre of the nail plate, then sweep the brush towards the tip in a single stroke. Next, angle your brush so that the bristles form a curve from the edge of your centre line to the corner of your nail bed. Don't worry if you make a mistake, you can tidy up the half moon using the pointed end of a cotton bud soaked in acetone free nail varnish remover. Leave to dry for a few minutes before applying a second coat. Then apply Illamasqua top coat for a perfect finish. And that's the Gatsby nail.